Hello, this is Algebra and Equation Solving. Solving equations with variables on both sides, example one. And um, here, this is another equation that we really haven't seen anything like. And um, our goal is going to be to get it to look like something simple like this. And of course, first we'll probably end up with something like this that we already know. But we've never dealt with um, like terms, and 2x and 3x are like terms on both sides of the equation. Um, uh, your choices are you can minus 2x to both sides, or you can minus 3x to both sides. Uh, if you don't like minusing 3x, well, there's so many things you can do with this equation. Um, I think uh, I'll just minus 3x to both sides, and I usually don't show this, but I'll show it on this one because um, it's one of the first ones we've encountered like this. See here, a minus 3x and a plus 3x, that adds up to 0, so it just goes away. And here, a minus 3x and a 2x, that's minus x. So I end up with minus x plus 3 equals 5. See, and now it looks like many equations that we've uh, already dealt with. And uh, the plan will be to minus 3 to both sides, and then lastly multiply both sides by negative 1. So when I minus 3 to both sides, I end up with minus x equals 2, or x equals negative 2. Now, I don't want you to think that's the only way we can do this equation, because there's so many ways of doing this. Uh, the book is suggesting that you minus 2x to both sides, and then your x's will be on this side. If that's really what you want to do, I would suggest you start out doing this. See, I've just switched them. I've put this one on this side. If this equals this, then this equals this. So I just switched them. Now when we minus 2x to both sides, we'll end up with x plus 5 equals 3. And now when we minus 5 to both sides, we'll have x equals minus 2. So th what's happening is you're learning more and more techniques for solving uh, these equations. and the one of the hardest parts about algebra is that there's not just one way to do things. In arithmetic, there's usually only one way to do it. You just do it this one way, and there's no choices, and you learn it, and it's done. With algebra, especially in more complicated questions like this, there's going to be many ways to do it, and you're going to have to develop your own style do what you want to do, what you like to do, and just be careful. Don't do anything uh, wrong or illegal.